Hello, Dumela. Welcome, girl. I'm Hela. In this channel, you're going to learn how to have conversations, learn grammar, phonics, and a little bit of reading. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Hello and welcome. Today we're also going to continue with the pronouns, but today we're really going to focus on third person pronouns using singular and plural form. Okay, so in the third person, singular and plural, when we refer to he, she, and in plural, they, ki, ki is used with the nouns, while U is used with verbs other than the verb to be. But if this sounds really confusing, in the next um, lessons, I will go into detail and explain really in depth about what I'm saying here. So for the third person here, if you are referring to he or she, it is ki, ki. So in this case, the person that we're talking about, the name is Tabo, Tabo, which means joy or happiness. Ki Tabo, he or she is Tabo, Ki Tabo. They are Tabo and Lebu. Ki Tabo, Lilebu. Ki Tabo, Lilebu. So whenever you're referring to someone else other than you, um, the tone for ke is always going to be higher ki ki but if you're referring to yourself like i it is going to be ki ki so he or she stays in maseru udula maseru udula maseru they stay in new york ba dula new york Ba Dula New York. If you have already checked the previous lessons for uh, pronouns, you'll see the similarities in these. So therefore, ki, in addition to being a first person subject pronoun, it also has the meaning uh, he, she, it, and is, they, are, but the meaning, the meaning is determined by the pronunciation of the ki, like I've pronounced um earlier on the first slide. So let me just show um, what I'm trying to say here. So we have, I am Musutu. Um, so we're just gonna focus on the highlighted words here on the highlighted pronouns, I am Musutu. So it would be ki, ki Musutu. So when the ki has a low tone, that means I am referring to myself, ki. Ki musutu, ki has a low tone. But if I'm referring to someone else, he or she is musutu, it is going to be ki, ki musutu. So the ki has a high tone and the reason for that is because I am referring to someone else either than myself. And they are basutu, you guessed it right, the tone is going to be high. Ki basutu, ki ba. So, too. so again, the alphabet U and O has the same sound. So, U, 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 right? So, U, it's for U umbrella. U and U, that's for the O, U. So, when, when spoken, the letter U and the letter O, they both have the same sound. Therefore, U, which refers to you, and U, which is he or she, must be distinguished. U, U, and they also, um, the sound is distinguished by the context. So you, you really need to listen to what is being said and what is the context, and then you will distinguish which one you have to use. But if it is said without being written, it actually sounds the same. The letter for U and the letter for O would sometimes sound the same. So yeah, thanks again for watching this lesson. I know it sounds very tricky, 
but um, just go over it again, over and over again. And if you do have some questions, please leave, leave them on the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share.